Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video will be a, a complimentary video about the event UI. So in this video I will show you how you can add event UI not by pulling but by scripting. So let's get into it. So last time as I told you we see how we can drag and drop our event like this from the script and just uh, by pulling it like that. But right now, what if we want to add an event, maybe a pointer, uh, but by script? So let me show you how we can do that. So first thing, I will remove this. And um, let's uh, open Visual Studio and let's uh, open our script manager event. All right, so right now I create a function, so public void i default event. So let me create another function. So let's create a... Um, not not a public, but a private. So let's create a private uh, add event by script. You can name it whatever you want. It's up to you. So private void. And um, what we can do, we can add a parameter in this function. So let's put a game object. A game object, and let's name it a game object. Very easy. So why I put this parameter game object? Because um, you like this you can use it for um, for not using only for one object but you just need to call this function whenever you want in your script or whenever you want in your project and you can add as a event um, as you wish so um, uh, what we need to do after that we need to check so what we need it's to create a game object dot uh, get component and we want to get the component event trigger. So event uh, trigger. Uh, oh yeah, uh, before I need to add the component event trigger, I need to add a library. So the library uh, should be, so using uh, Unity engine, so Unity engine dot event system, because we need to add an event trigger. So I will again get component uh, event trigger and as you can see right now we can see the event trigger and uh, we want to check if this game object so uh, that get component uh, event trigger equal equal to null mm, okay so before uh, if we want to check we need the if if statement so if game object has no uh, component event trigger what we want to do we just want to Add it from this game object. So we want to do a game object dot uh, dot add component, and what we want to add is an event trigger. So event uh, trigger. Very easy. Oops, sorry, like this. Okay. We can save this. Um, so after we check if our game object have an event trigger, we want to create an event trigger to uh, to can uh, to be able to add the functionality and um, and the function we want to add, because remember how this thing work. Uh, I will show you in Unity right now. So if we want to add an event trigger, first thing we we need to have is the type. So we need to select what type we want to add, and after we add a type on the event trigger, we need to add the event so as we we do last time we need to add our function so this is why i need to let's head back to visual studio what i need to do it's to create an event trigger so event uh, trigger we will call this uh, maybe trigger very easy and what we want to do is to get uh, the game object event trigger so we will do game object dot get component event trigger so this is why we need to check uh, if our game object got the event trigger because if he don't have event trigger he will um, blow an error and that um, this is what we don't want to after that we need to um, uh, create a new entry so we'll do event trigger so event uh, trigger dot entry will be equal um, of entry 
will be equal to the new event trigger entry, event trigger dot entry, like this. And the event trigger entry is what I was calling is this. So like this, it's it's kind of the type. So we need to want to we, we need to 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 be able to select the type. So if I head back to Unity, uh, uh, Visual Studio, what we can do is entry. So entry dot event ID will be equal to. And what we can do is event trigger, so event trigger type. And now, as you can see, we can select what event type we want to add. So for me, I will do something very, very basic. So I will create an event trigger type uh, of pointer click. So something very, very easy, or I can use pointer down, but let's create a pointer click. Okay, so um, it will register, it will add to our to our game object a pointer click. So this event will be will be executed each time I will uh, click on the on my UI or my game object. It's up to you. So after that, what I need to do is to create. So let's um, of our entry, we need to add a function. So this is why we'll use dot callback because it will execute a function, and we want to this callback to add the listener again. Remember. In the first video, if I head back to Unity, remember we got the event system and this will listen everything. If we click, if we do something. This is why we need to, to add an event to Unity to be able to understand what we, we are doing if we're clicking or if we click down, etc, etc. Uh, so let's head back to Visual Studio. And what we want to do in the Add Listener we just want to open a second um, a second uh, parenthesis and let's call this one maybe callback or whatever you want. Maybe now callback is not a great name. So maybe event or maybe a function I want, function I want, something like this. And um, like the callback, remember on the pop-up manager, I just need to do that. And uh, I need to open uh, this. And right now we can pass our function. So I will create another function. So let's create private, uh, private. Uh, oh, I don't need to add another function. I already add one here. So like this, like that. We just need to create a function. Let's uh, close it. And don't forget to, um, to put the semicolon. And after adding the listener, don't forget to add it from your trigger. So let's put it trigger. So again, remember the trigger is corresponding to our game object trigger event. So trigger dot triggers. So our um, our list, and we want to add what we just uh, enter. So our entry. We just need to close the semicolon. Let's save this. And um, let's test this. So um, before uh, before we can test it, let's create a public um, uh, a void start function. So void uh, void start function. Let's create a serialized field. So I need um, I need a link for for the game object, but you can retrieve it um, uh, by using a pooling or by using a script by using whatever you want. We just need a reference from from the game object, so it's up to you. Even when you will instantiate it, or it's up to you. I, I will make it something very easy. Again, this video is just to show you how you can add an event by scripting. So let's serialize this field. Let's create a game object. Uh, no, not game manager, but game object. A game object, and let's call it maybe image test. Something very easy. Uh, uh, well, maybe game object test, game object test. Let's save this. And uh, what we need to do is to call our function. So let's copy paste this in the start function and let's put in parameters a game object test. Like this. Let's save this. 
let's head back to Unity. And as you can see, the manager event asks for a game object test. So our game object test will be image. So drag and drop it, save the scene, and let's hit play. And again, um, I told you I don't add any event trigger. So let's save this and let's see the magic happen. So remember, I use the pointer clicker for, for our, our script. So right now, um, as you can see, the event trigger was, um, how can I say that, was uh, adding. But as you can see, uh, list is empty. It's normal because, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a bug about Unity, but trust me, it's working because if I click on, on, the, on the image, as you can see, our debug is showing very nice because, again, if I head back to Visual Studio, as you can see, we had the callback on, the, on our function we want. So um, this is how we you can you can add an event um, using uh, a scripting. You can add whatever function you want in this uh, in this callback. You can add a parameter. I didn't uh, uh, check an example uh, for for this, but uh, this is how you can uh, you can add event by uh, by scripting. So um, before uh, uh, before letting you go. Uh, I will give you a, uh, some bonus. So if pe some people want to, maybe um, when the guy just uh, click on the function, on the on the UI, and maybe he don't want to be able to use again uh, the trigger element, what he can do. So I will create another function. So let's create a private, um, private uh, void uh, click um, event and remove. So it's uh, just a simple function to, to remove it uh, when the, um, uh, when you click on the, on the image. So what we add in parameter, we can add the event trigger. So event uh, trigger, so where it is, oh, there it is. So event trigger, uh, let's call it again trigger, something very easy. And I'd, we just want to do a simple thing. We just want to do a trigger. So trigger dot trigger for all the trigger or for all the list dot remove wrench, uh, remove wrench uh, between zero and uh, trigger uh, dot wrench. Uh, sorry, trigger dot trigger dot count. So basically we just remove all the event we just add when we will click on the um, on the callback, so we just need to call it like this. So we just want to use again an entry. So we'll just call entry callback add listener function I want, and I want this function. Sorry, this function like this. And remember, I told you you can add a parameter or whatever you want. So I was not lying. And what we want to add in parameter, something very simple, we just want to add our uh, trigger. Like this, we can save this and we can head back to Unity. And we can test this, so I will clear the console. Again, remember, when I will click on the, uh, on the image, uh, we are able to click uh, a lot of time, but right now we'll only be able to click one time and the event will be removed. So let's save this. Let's hit play. And again, if I click one time, it will work. But as you can see, if I click more than one time, the trigger was removed. So that's it for the for the adding event. So hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. So if content equal equal to like or user learned something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike, but help me to improve. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys next time.